Hello, my littles. Hey, how are you? Oh, how was your weekend? You know, maybe doesn't ask that very often. I'd like to know. Will you have someone email me at mammyscorner at gmail.com or find me at Facebook? I would really love to hear how your weekend was. Pappy and Mammy went on a trip this weekend and we saw a prehistoric garden. Look at, do you know what those are? Look at that. We walked all the way around and we had an amazing tour guide. What's a tour guide? That's someone who went with us. Oh, I'll tell you all about that later. But first, what I want to say is, welcome to Mammy's Corner and I'm Mammy. <laughs> but you already knew that, didn't you? Oh, Mammy's so silly. Oh my goodness. It is time to do our affirmations. Are you ready to be loud? Are you ready to be true and honest about this? Say it loud. Ready? I am loved. Are you loved? You are. That's right. Say it louder. I am loved. That's right. Who loves you? God loves you. Very good. Who else loves you? Mammy loves you and don't you forget it. Next one. I am good. You are good. One more time. I am good. Very good. Now, for the last one, really loud. I am kind. Are you kind? You are. One more time. I am kind. Good job, because you are good and kind. Now, Mammy has a new book that I bought when we went to see this little uh, prehistoric garden, and it's called Bigfoot and Joshua. I can't wait to read it to you, but first, Make sure you're in your special seat, your special chair, get all nice and comfy, maybe a favorite blanket or a favorite pillow, or maybe a favorite stuffed animal, or maybe you just want to cuddle with mommy or daddy or another adult. Who are you going to cuddle with? All right, you ready? Are you ready? All right. Oh, wait. Don't forget to hit that like sign. Mammy likes it when you, <laughs> when you let me know that you like my videos. All right, you ready? Here we go. All right, this is called Bigfoot and Joshua, and it's by Bob and Peggy Bishop. Whoa, that's Bigfoot, and that's Joshua. Or is that Bigfoot, and that Joshua? Oh, Mimi being silly. All right, you ready? Let's get started. Joshua, his sister Emily, and his mom and dad were going on a camping trip to the mountains. They took food, tents, and sleeping bags with them. Well, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? After a long ride in the car, Joshua and his family arrived at their campsite. That must be the daddy. Oh, there's Emily. That night, Joshua told his family that Bigfoot lived in the nearby forest. Emily laughed and said there was no such thing as Bigfoot. Joshua knew she was wrong. And he was going to find Bigfoot. What do you think? You think he's going to find Bigfoot? Let's find out. Joshua and his family always had fun on their camping trips. They did things they could not do at home. So it looks like Mama's reading a book. Joshua's climbing. Daddy's fishing. And Emily over here is, what is she doing? That's right. She's swimming. Pretty cool. What kind of things do you do with your family? Joshua knew Bigfoot was in the forest, and he wanted to find him. Uh-oh, Mama fell asleep. What will Joshua do? Let's find out. He decided to go into the forest to find Bigfoot. Joshua did not tell anyone where he was going. <gasps> That's not good. Oh, no. Don't you do that. You make sure you tell people where you're going. That way we can find you. He wanted everyone to be surprised when he found Bigfoot. Well, they're going to be surprised, all right. Hey, is that Bigfoot? No. Later, it started to rain, and Joshua was getting cold. He did not know that trees could grow this big. How was he ever going to find Bigfoot? Hmm. As soon as mom and dad realized Joshua was gone, they went to look for him. They asked the forage, forest ranger to help. <gasps> is that the forest ranger? That is. Is he going to help? Let's find out. Emily told the ranger that she believed her brother went to look for Bigfoot. 
Emily asked the ranger about Bigfoot. He told that a lot of people believed they had seen Bigfoot in the nearby forest. They said Bigfoot was very big, hairy, and smelled bad. So he's like, this tall, and he's stinky. P.U. The forest ranger asked lots of people to help look for Joshua, but they could not find him, even after looking all day. Mom, Dad, and Emily were very worried. Oh, man, that's scary. A lot of rain was starting to fall. The ranger told everyone to stop looking because it was too dangerous to search in the dark. He said the search would start again in the morning. Roar! Joshua was very sorry that he had left his family to look for Bigfoot. He was scared. He was lost and didn't know how to find his way back to the campsite. Joshua could not see how close he was to the edge of a cliff. Suddenly, he slipped and fell. Oh no, this is dangerous. He heard a noise and smelled something bad. P.U. Joshua knew that Bigfoot smelled badly and he was sometimes called the skunk ape. <gasps> do you think that's Bigfoot? You do? Let's find out. All of a sudden, a big hairy foot was in front of his face. He knew right away that the foot belonged to <gasps> Bigfoot. Then Bigfoot's toes began to wiggle and Joshua got an idea. <gasps> What's his idea? What do you think? Let's find out. Joshua used Bigfoot's foot like the saddle on a horse, wrapped his arms around Bigfoot's hairy leg, and held on. Would you have done that? Whoa. Joshua was suddenly face to face with Bigfoot. He was not afraid because he knew Bigfoot was his friend. Does he look scary now? No. Joshua felt Bigfoot's strong hands under his arms. After a very short ride through the air, he was safe in Bigfoot's arms. Ah! Bigfoot could see in the dark and knew his way through the forest. Because Bigfoot had such long legs, their walk to the campsite did not take too long. Ah! Look at those big steps. Whoa. When they arrived at the campsite, everyone was sound asleep. Shh. Joshua pointed to his tent. Joshua said, I knew you were real. Thank you for saving me. Bigfoot zipped Joshua into the sleeping bag, patted his head, and left quietly after Joshua fell asleep. In the morning, Joshua thought that maybe he had only dreamed about his friend Bigfoot. Then he noticed that his tent smelled as if a group of skunks had visited. Ew! Joshua ran to his mom and dad's tent. He was worried that they would be very mad at him for going to the forest to look for Bigfoot. Mom, dad, and Emily were very glad to see Joshua was okay. He was sure they loved him more than ever. His mom asked him, Where have you been? You smell like a skunk. <laughs> he told his family that he had gone looking for Bigfoot and that he had found him. Joshua told how Bigfoot lifted him from the danger with his foot and carried him back to the campsite. Joshua could tell that no one believed him. Just then, his dad saw some very large footprints in the soft, muddy ground. Now everyone knew that Joshua was telling the truth about Bigfoot. Yay, Joshua! Mom told the ranger how Bigfoot found her son and returned to the campsite. She asked the ranger to thank everyone who helped with the search and to tell them that Joshua was safe because of Bigfoot. This was a camping trip that Joshua would always remember. He could not wait to tell the kids at school about his new friend, Bigfoot. That night, Joshua dreamed that Bigfoot told his Bigfoot family about his new friend. The end. So what do you think? Do you think this is a true story? No.
But it could be if there was a real Joshua and a real Bigfoot, right? But are Bigfoots real? We don't know for certain. Many people say they've seen them. They're big and huge, right? But where have Bigfoots been seen? Well, let me tell you, more than 200 people say they have seen Bigfoot in the California Redwoods and near Mount St. Helens in Washington State. Willow Creek, California is called the Bigfoot capital of the world and has a large Bigfoot museum. Oh, how exciting. I don't live in California. I live in Oregon. But that'd be kind of cool to go visit, huh? So, how big are Bigfoot supposed to be? Well, they say between seven and eight feet tall. It's way taller than Mammy and Pappy. Whoa. According to the people that have seen them anyway. If so, a Bigfoot's head could touch the ceiling in many homes. Whoa. Now, I want to say thank you for watching. And don't forget that Mammy went to the prehistoric gardens. And you can find this on Facebook. I took pictures. Pappy took pictures, actually. But we took pictures for you to see all the wonderful animals. And if you can name them, will you tell your adult in your life and put them in my Mammy's Corner on Facebook? I would love to hear about your stories on stuff like that. All right, so this is the end. What do we do at the end? That's right. Who loves you? God loves you. Very good. Who else loves you? Mammy loves you. Shh. But Mammy loves you bestest. <laughs> Until next time, my littles, be good and be kind.